Welcome to Crazy Sounds, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm ID Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. So TNT, back when, back in our hometown area, there was a youth pastor who, who you know, he, he liked to try to get all the kids to come hang out at his youth pastor house. I don't know <laughs> what it was. It's like a gingerbread house or I something. I used to go to a youth group, Jonas, with yeah, the youth yeah. pastor. Yeah, yeah. Remember you know, Duke? Yeah, Duke, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, people used to, like, go in there. It was, like, a thing. And, like, I, I get it. It's, like, you know, the youth pastors try to get the kids involved in Christ at a young age. <laughs> and uh, so imagine if you went to a Duke, a Duke out. A Duke out, okay. And uh, he, when you walk in, you got a little care package. And in there was a sticker. And the sticker said, I heart hot youth pastors. <laughs> How would you feel about that? Um, well, as seeing as though the inherent term with his name is a youth pastor, I, I don't know. That seems kind of weird. Like, I would give that to the parents. Uh, that happened in real life. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah I heard and, about and then the this. the church was like, oh, that was a poor decision. And we could see how that would be it offensive. Is, it is a poor decision. And I could see how it could be offensive. But it seems pretty like, honestly, it seems pretty tame. I mean, okay. I get what you were going for. I'm going to be real. There's always some implications when people are like, oh, you're a youth pastor. That yes. And then you hand out, I'm a hot, I love hot youth pastor stickers. Yeah. It's like, are you, are you grooming these kids to love oh, you? Oh my God. See, and that's the thing. You, remember Jonas, when I told you about, I just try to live my daily life trying to not be seen as a pedophile. <laughs> You remember when I told you that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it is so hard for a man to do anything involving children and not be considered a pedophile. I mean, you're not wrong. So it's like, but but here's the thing, dude. Like, I don't know if you're dealing with minors, talking about how hot you are is ever something that's okay. I don't know how that could be come across as innocent, period. I mean. You don't want the kids wait, to associate wait. hotness with you. But he was just trying to say, hey, I'm hot, right? You know, but not necessarily saying it to the kids. Like, hey, kids, don't you think I'm hot? That's not what he's saying. A se he's saying that he's hot. Like, if I said, if I handed you a, a bookmark that said, you know, I, I love my hot roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I heart hot roommates. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't think anything weird of that. <laughs> not at all. I'd be like, Sh yep. But look, I love look, your confidence. But look at how we're laughing about it. It means nothing. I'm right? also a grown-ass man and not a little kid. I mean, I feel you. And that's where the context is what really kind of sets it apart. The words themselves, I feel like he, like I said, poor choosing, but not inherently well, like devious. Also, it doesn't okay, mean like he's trying to Weirdness of age aside, it's also shit trying like what why can't it just say i heart youth pastors the hot implies that if he was ugly that they shouldn't like him because he wants to be hot he made the stickers right but like that's even worse if i was making stickers and handing them out to the public i'd be like oh i love hot black youtubers named tnt <laughs> I is get that, it. Is that what you would say? Yeah. That's what they would say. I love hot black YouTubers <laughs> named TNT. TNT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, all right. Never mind. Case closed. That's no. all the time we have. <laughs> no, like I said, I totally get it. It is very, very poor, poor wording, a poor situation. There's so many poor, poor, poors. And I don't know if like there was malicious intent. Doesn't feel. Oh, like I'm it to sure me. there wasn't. But like, Lord, yeah. Like you should. You know what industry you're in. You know the stigmas that come yeah. with that to begin with. Yeah. It was, and, yeah. and then you're trying to associate you being hot to yeah. these kids. Uh, we trying to get some milfs, like some of the moms, to be like, oh yeah, he is hot. Let me hang out with the youth pastor. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It does remind me of a joke that I heard of, Jonas. Yeah, go. I mean, if you feel comfortable I, saying it, just, you know what kind of climate we're in. Can, you I, can it. I tell it? Yeah, and quick. I got another story about a youth pastor. So let's go. <laughs> All right, there was there was a guy, and uh, he got hired at a swimming pool, right? Okay. And um, his friend decided that it'd be funny to take his bottle of Tic Tacs and put four Viagras in there. Okay. So he, the guy goes to his job. Sounds at, like a hilarity is about to ensue. <laughs> the guy goes to the, to the swimming pool. He's a lifeguard. And there's nothing but kids. 
and he he, he gets like uh, he get he gets aroused. And then his friend calls him up and says, hey, I put Viagra in your Tic Tac container. And he's like, oh, thank God. He goes back to his car to see how many tic- how many Viagra he took and how long this is going to last. And when he got there, there was four Viagra left. That's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was, sounds just like an unfortunate story. No, he, he didn't take any of the Viagra. It's My the, it's the joke. <laughs> the joke I, I know. I got it. Yeah, there yeah. you go. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there was a guy that I worked with when I uh, I used to like work at like a rent to own place. We would deliver furniture. He was one of the delivery guys. He was a youth pastor, uh-huh. and he was a interesting Ooh. man. And uh, mm-hmm. and it was interesting because I anytime I, when I worked there, I was like twenty five, right? So you know, so I would we would like too see, old for him. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so we would see like women out and about, and I'd be like. Uh, and like, and I knew this was a thing, so I would always do this. I'd be like, "Man, they're pretty hot, huh?" And he would just be like, "I cannot look at them like that." He would like say that, and that made me just think over and over again that he was extra creepy. Because like, I feel like it, well, I wasn't pointing at underage people; I was pointing at like twenty-some-year-old women, right? And he was Fair. maybe he was maybe in his thirties, right? Okay. So I'd be like, "Man, man, she's pretty hot, huh?" And he would be like, "I don't know, I don't see him like that." And I'm like, that just makes me think that you are a freaking weirdo and that and that you you're going over the top to protect yeah. yourself from thinking anyone is hot yeah that i was like but you know on the same notes like who do you who do you trust more you trust a person that denies 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 or do you trust a person that's like uh trying to show you porn on his phone or something okay listen because like that well right but that guy is thing. being right it, out there with it but it came across as so fake yeah. Because what man can't at least say, yeah, that woman's attractive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, if you're like, man, isn't she hotter? Isn't she good looking? Oh, I don't know. I don't see them like that. Bro, you are a guy. You still know what attractive looks like. Yeah. Like I, I will say is that a lot of people who are in the clergy, I only know this because like I've I've had some experience with, with that. Around group. clergy folk? Yeah. Like I said, I used to go to a youth group and my, my father was a pastor of a church for a long time. So I've spent my, my fair share around of time around church folk. Is that when you're in a position like that, they don't want to get caught necessarily doing like everybody does something immoral or sinful or whatever, if that's what you want to put around it. Um, and they don't want to get caught necessarily because, you know, it takes some of the belief out of the people around them. Right, right. No, and for sure. they're supposed to stand as an example. So there's a lot of that going through his mind, I'm sure. But it came um, across as creepy. Yeah. And, and, and like, and honestly, and that's part of it. It's like if you... If he if he denies and comes across creepy, is it better than just being like, oh yeah? If he was I, like, look at this hot teen slut no, porn, <laughs> like, no, 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 like you like, said, is he showing you porn on his phone? He's like, check, it's all like hot teens constantly, and you're like, oh wait, yeah. that's creepy too. Like, but even if he was to be like, oh yeah, I, you know what I do to her, and he was to tell you about the sexual acts he perform on her, and that'd be like what any other guy would be okay with saying around you, and you would be okay saying that to me, but if you hear it coming from him, you're gonna be like, hmm, pastor. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so he's him. like, he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. Exactly. So like, what's the better thing to do in that situation? Where, Go with uh, virtue. Where your reputation's on the line. Yeah. Virtue over, uh, what's the word, debauchery. Yeah. Like, yeah. any any given end to the debauchery is just like, hmm, pastor, huh? Yeah. Hmm, sure. <laughs> yeah, giving it up for the Lord, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. I see how that's going. I uh, I did go to Duke's one of Duke's retreats one time. I, yeah, I, I went one that. time because I was friends with a lot of you guys that went, and uh, yeah, 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 I just yeah. was like, it was interesting because we'd like play like games about like the Bible, and I didn't know anything. <laughs> I, it was like it was like <laughs> it, was like, <laughs> it was like Bible Bible word scrambles and stuff, and I'm like, I don't I don't know the answer to this. Games about- it was like everyone talk about your favorite verse, and I'm like, uh, dude. is the one with Jesus in it? Yeah, I don't know. dude. In the beginning, yeah, I had Mr. Mine. Justice on my team, so we won. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he was, he was. I think that's what he does. For he's, life. A, he's a Bible boy. Now. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if he still is. Uh, I don't know. But I don't anyways, know. that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, yep.